So I'm sitting down on the water's edge with Dino and we kind of noticed that the rip on the other side of the flags had flared up. So I guess I was keeping an extra eye on it and then suddenly there's a group of people, three or four people, in trouble. Oh, shit. It's terrible, those two guys are back Central, we're just going for two. Yeah, we're going for two, definitely. In between the set. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's full on drowning, eh? For weak swimmers, even the mildest rip can be deadly. Once we radioed it through and the boys were looking at it through the binos and we're making our way down in the buggy, they came back with a fair bit of urgency saying we really needed to get in. Surfers on a nearby sandbank are oblivious to the emergency taking place just metres away. Yeah, get out of there, boys. They're gone. In between the two sets, it's like a, it's a lake there, this, and they've obviously just can't swim a stroke. The men could swim to the safety of a shallow sandbank, just metres to their right. But with no surf experience, they're helpless. Watching it, it's like a car crash. You don't want to see it, but you've got to watch it, you know. If they go under, you've got to watch where they last went under so then the guys can respond. The worst thing about being a lifeguard is sitting in that tower and watching someone drown right in front of you, and there's nothing you can do about it. This guy was, like, under and not coming back up again. And I said, you know, I'm here to help you. He literally couldn't even dog paddle over to me. The strength to try and get his arms out of the water just wasn't there. I thought, someone's going to drown here. It's just a few metres to the board, but the men can barely swim. They're all members of the same family, originally from Iraq. For me, knowing what it looks like when someone's drowning, that guy was drowning. Don't go in the ocean unless you know how to swim. Seriously. 10 metres to the north, he would have been in waist depth water. He had the stroke where you try and swim and you, as you lift yourself up out of the water, you send yourself back underwater, you know. All he had to do was stop trying to swim and he would have been fine. It's scary, like, you see how people drown up and down the coast and these isolated beaches, mm. go for a swim, no one around, drop off, the 